that you may well have heard already, but which reached me yesterday afternoon when my phone exploded. And obviously, being something of a Twitter addict, I don't have notifications for Twitter on, but my texts and emails started pinging like it was going out of fashion because it was reported that the actor Ray Liotta had passed away, had died in his sleep while while filming, um, I think in the Caribbean. And because he had become such a bizarre and integral part of this program, particularly, well, obviously during Mystery Hour on Thursdays, but also the rest of the time, we sometimes forget that you can win a Ray Liotta when uh, uh, your qualifications for contributing to a conversation that we have are, are just astonishingly good. Uh, I, 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 I understood why everyone thought that we sort of felt a personal loss, even though we never met him. It was Steve Allen that met him, my, my colleague on early mornings, my friend and colleague on early mornings at LBC. And, and when you're interviewing somebody famous, there's nothing worse than having to ask for, for a little favor. I, 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 I've done it probably three times in my life, apart from signing an autograph. That's fine. But I got Daniel Radcliffe in the pomp of Harry Potter to record a little message for my daughters when they were addicted to Harry Potter, and, and that was very special. But normally you don't like doing it, cause, partly because it feels unprofessional and partly because you don't want to annoy uh, the talent, as we call them. And and so I was so touched when Steve actually did it because we, we, we developed a motto on the programme, if you build it, they will come, which is an adaptation of a line in Field of Dreams, the Kevin Costner film um, in, in which obviously Ray Liotta delivered the original version of that line, if you build it, he will come. And I'd started using it as a slightly a slightly boastful catchphrase on the programme because we were beginning to realise that the quality of the callers we were getting was ridiculous, ridiculously high. You know, the days of just having sort of barely um, sentient people ringing in to talk about how much they hate foreigners were so far in the rearview mirror on this show that we, we started really... Uh, noting it and, and mentioning it and that became our sort of weird little catchphrase and so when I heard that Ray Liotta was coming in to be interviewed by Steve Allen I just asked Steve if he'd just consider asking him to record it especially for us and and apparently with utter charm and 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 kindness and generosity he did and, and reading a lot of the memories of people who worked with him on a rather bigger scale than just asking a colleague to record a silly little stab for a weird feature on a weird radio programme that he'd never heard of. All of the uh, memories and commemorations reflect upon what, what a stand-up guy he was and what a pleasure he was to work with. So I'm minded at the moment not to retire the stab. I, I, I think I want to keep it because I don't know, we love it and we love him. So rest in peace, Ray Liotta. I'm Ray Liotta, and you're listening to James O'Brien on LBC. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> 